Jolie here for seconds out with Francis Warren in oh, Birmingham. Man. Yeah, very good. Thanks. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Not too bad. So, big fight this weekend, of course, in America and also in Birmingham as Brad Foster defends his British and Commonwealth and fights for the European belt against Jason Cunningham. Um, run us through that main event. It should be a it should be a cracker, a war. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we've just got to look at Jason. Um, he's been there, done it, as he said in the press conference. You know, he's a three-weight Commonwealth champion um, and a great fight with Michael Conlon. Um, and he's the uh, European champion. So, you know, Brad's got it all to do. But for me, Brad Foster's one of those, you know, strange specimens that, uh, you know, he'll rise to the occasion every time. Um, you know, with very little amateur or no ex amateur experience. Um, you know, he's, he's the outright British champion, Commonwealth champion, and now fights for a European title at the age of 23. So he's progressing fast, but, you know, he's never looked out of his depth at all. He's never looked in any trouble. Um, you know, he righted, he righted a wrong uh, result against um, Lucian Reed. Um, you know, he had a bad night at the office that night, but since then he's not put a foot wrong or a glove wrong. Um, you know, everything's been pe pe you know, punch perfect. And um, as long as he's on top of his game, I expect him to add to um, his, his ever growing belt collection on um, on Saturday night here in Birmingham. It's a, you know, it's a great night's boxing as well, and you know, plenty, plenty on the undercard. And with Brad, he's had the British since 2019. He's fought for it many times now. Surely, if he wins, it, it's onwards and upwards, and, and maybe not so much the domestic competition. Well, the fact of the matter is, there's been good domestic fights to be had. Um, and until you genuinely, I don't know, maybe, maybe Brad wants to genuinely say to everyone, I'll beat everyone domestically. Uh, it just so happens that there's a, a European belt against another domestic rival, which, which is handy. Um, but Listen, I think if he win, when he wins on Saturday, um, I'm being very confident. Um, we've got he's still got a lot of learning to do, um, and it's very, you know, securing a world title fight's not not difficult. But you know, there's a, there's another thing about you know there's, there's levels to go up in boxing. Obviously, if an opportunity arises that we think yeah, he's, you know that's that's something that we, we're confident Brad could go and do now, then we'd, we'd take it. However, there's no rush. As I just said, he's only 23. Um, he's got plenty of time to add to the mantelpiece um, over the over the, the years to come in his career. And um, all, all you know, all we all we want to do is deliver opportunities, but the correct opportunities at the at the correct time. Um, and the last thing you want to do is, is is make a wrong move early on just for the sake of another belt, another yeah, belt, another yeah. belt. What's most important is the right fights, right time. Do you think you'll be giving Jason Cunningham opportunities if he is successful? I know he said he he will hold the cards if he if he wins and he'd be looking for a promoter. Do you feel like Queensbury and Frank Warren promotions could work, be the option? You want to work with successful guys, and Jason is certainly a successful guy, and um, I'm sure there'll be discussions to be had should Jason come through and, um, and beat Brad on Saturday. Um, it's a great fight, and that's, that's 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 what we want to put on. You know, fifty fifties that. Um, you know, that intrigue the fans, um, you know, people people buy tickets to come and watch, um, people watch on TV. And, um, you know, that's that's why we love boxing. Anything can happen on the night. And I know you mentioned in the press conference, you kind of expected him to beat Gamal Yufai, is that true? Yeah, um, I think, you know, it's an old one. It's styles make fights, isn't it? And um, I think, you know, Jason is, is a very, very tough guy, but... Um, you know, he's a very good boxer as well. So, um, yeah, I fancy him to come through that and, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a great result for him. And obviously Frank over in America at the moment for Tyson Fury's trilogy fight with Deontay Wilder. Um, that is going to be one exciting fight after, of course, BT Sports action on Saturday. Absolutely. Tune into Midlands, then straight over to Vegas. Yeah, yeah you're, you're right. I mean, it's a, it's a very intriguing fight. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a big, big night of boxing. Um, and, um, you know, anything Tyson Fury does is huge. Um, it's in, you know, like I just said, it's very intriguing. You know, they've been out a while. Um, Deontay's obviously talking a good game as he usually does, but Tyson's got an answer for everything and I expect the same to happen in the fight. I think Deontay may, may, may come out flying, but Tyson Fury's just far too good for him. And uh, I, you know, I, fancy, I fancy a Tyson Fury stoppage maybe a little bit earlier than uh, he did last time. Wow. Okay. Did you get a chance to watch the press conference? Do you think he got in Deontay Wilder's head yesterday? He did it. Yeah, he did eventually. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of backwards and forwards, but I think the most rolled up person in there was Bob Arum. <laughs> he didn't let the uh, the face off go ahead, did he? Never was. There were never was supposed okay. to be one. 
from what I'm, I'm hearing, it wasn't supposed to be one at all. And uh, it was the, uh, the the host called for it when it wasn't supposed to be called for. Why is that? Because surely, you know, it, it helps people get riled up for the fight. Happened. So, you know, all that's important is that we've still got a fight happening on Saturday night. So I think everyone should focus on the positives. I suppose after, yeah, it falling through already with Tyson getting COVID, it's the third fight. Just get it done. Just get it done so we can all move on. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, it's going to be a spectacular event, spectacular fight. And uh, I think Tyson Fury will again show why he's number one in the world. And last thing, just to touch on um, the news that the winner of Otto Wilding, Dillian White, will officially face the winner of this third fight. Um, is that something that you'd look to do if Tyson is successful, obviously, with everyone? Who... Be done first and we'll see. But you think that's a possibility instead of uh, uh, Usyk or AJ? WBC have ordered it, haven't they? So it's got to be, uh, got to be te- the mandatory's got to be taken care of as, as far as the WBC are concerned. Really appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck with everything on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be a busy night on BT Sports, so uh, check that one out. Thank you.